Hey everyone, welcome to BM Sculptures. I have a video for you today, not like anything else I've done yet. I'm gonna show you how to professionally black out your car emblems and logos cheaply and easily. Now I'm not gonna jump on here and show you guys something I'm doing for the very first time. I have a lot of experience in this area. This is my current truck and all these logos and rims are blacked out for over five years. So this is five years of use you're seeing here. Granted, I should have washed this before I did the video, but as you can see, it's held up extremely well for over five years. Stick around to the very end and I'm gonna show you another cheap and simple hack to make your car even more customizable. Let's get right into it. So here's my wife's new car. It's a Ford Explorer XLT with the sports appearance package. And I honestly don't know what they're thinking when they make these because they gray out the Explorer logo in the front, yet the back, the XLT and the four wheel drive logo remains chrome. So this is basically what I want to black out because black will just match the whole aesthetic much better than the chrome. All you need to professionally black out your logos is Plasti Dip, and if you want it to be glossy, you get the Plasti Dip Glossifier. Now, Plasti Dip comes in all sorts of different colors, but for this case, I want to do my logos black, so I just got matte black. And the first thing you want to do is thoroughly clean your emblems. Here I'm using a little bit of alcohol spray to clean them. Um, I would advise against using any kind of like window or glass cleaner because that could leave behind a residue. Now, like many of you, I was afraid to do this on my car for the first time in fear that I would mess up and ruin my paint or ruin my car. But the amazing fact about Plasti Dip is if you mess up or if you don't like how it looks, you can easily take it off with zero damage to your car. Once the emblems are completely dry and clean, it's time to tape them off. Now be sure to leave around a quarter of an inch to a half of an inch around each emblem. Be sure to thoroughly shake the can before using. Wait, I almost forgot about my powered homemade paint can shaker. If you wanna check out this video, see how I made this and see how you can do it yourself, check out the card up above. Now here's one of the most important things to do. Test out the spray before you do it on your logo. As you can see, this spray is extremely vertical. So now that you go into it, you know exactly how it sprays and you can get the right distance away and know how to apply it correctly. The first coat, you really just wanna pepper it on very, very lightly. As you can see, there are still a lot of little chrome spots showing. You want a super light coat on your very first go around. Drying times are gonna vary depending on your climate. For reference, it was about 80 degrees this day and it took around 10 minutes to fully dry before I did the second coat. Now here's the second coat. You wanna do it a little bit thicker than the first coat and you wanna angle the spray can at different angles to make sure you cover every little angle of the logo. Wait another 10 minutes or until it is dry and then spray on the third and final coat. For this coat, you wanna put it on heavier than the first two and just make sure that every single area is covered on the logos. Now, if you want a matte black logo, you are finished. If you want it glossy, go ahead and start shaking that glossifier. Like the first part, you wanna test the spray. And for this one, it actually sprays completely different than the black. This is more of a rounded spray. So basically I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna pepper very lightly all different angles of the logo. I'm gonna do two coats, I'm not gonna show it all, but two coats of the Glossifier waiting 10 minutes between each coat. And then it's time to take off the tape and peel this Plasti Dip. And this is the magic of Plasti Dip. It will perfectly peel off your emblems without leaving anything on the paint. I don't know how it works. It is pure magic and it is pure amazing. But you just take a little toothpick. You might need tweezers to get into the, um, the Ds or the fours, the areas that are surrounded on the emblems. But just take your time and make sure all of it is peeled off. And just like that, you have professionally blacked out emblems for under $10. The beauty of Plasti Dip is if you don't like how this is looking, take your tweezers and just peel it right off those letters. Okay, as promised in the beginning of the video, I have another 
super easy, customizable trick to do to your Ford Explorer or any other Ford car for that matter. As you can see here, the front Ford emblem is not 3D like the XLT and four wheel drive. This means that the Plasti Dip will not work on this because it would have nothing to peel off from. So for these two logos, I'm gonna use my circuit cutter to cut out vinyl stickers, and these are permanent waterproof stickers, so this will last just as long as the Plasti Dip. Um, I'm gonna cut them out and then basically stick them over these logos with the chrome Ford revealing in the center for a very clean look. Now don't worry if you don't have a vinyl cutter, I will put a link to these products that they already make and sell online, these exact decals that you can order. Um, check the link in the description and it'll bring you right to it. And just like that, I have two more blacked out emblems, super easy to do and super cheap. This cost me probably 25 cents worth of vinyl. Um, and again, it's not 100% perfect, but the cool thing about this and the Plasti Dip is if you don't like it, you can just peel it right off and you'll have no damage to your car or paint and it's just like new. All right guys, I hope you liked watching this video. I hope you learned something. If you plan on doing this yourself, let me know how it goes in the comments. I'd love to hear all about it. And while you're at it, hit that thumbs up and please consider subscribing. And until next time, this is Blake from BM Sculptures.